Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys know the drill. And thank you so much, everyone. Uh, man, I love you guys. Thank you so much um, for all of the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, everything. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. And you guys support me so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so collective, um, it's a time of manifesting for you. Um, it, you've been through a long journey here, this after the storm card. I feel like light, it, the light at the end of the tunnel is here now. I feel like um, it's, it's been a long, tedious, difficult journey for you, but you've learned so much and you've come so far and you've become very, very knowledgeable, very powerful, um, standing strong in your boundaries, your strength, you know. And I feel like, uh, yeah, you've got your, you're getting your power back here. But I feel like right now, especially with this full moon in Cancer, right, um, you may be really feeling the need to get some rest because you really have come through um, a journey that's been very difficult, okay? So I feel like also while you get your rest, you're going to be getting a lot of gifts. Look at all the gifts that are laid around you, see? all the shells. I feel like the divine holds you in high regard and I feel like um, they're heightening your abilities, giving you downloads in your sleep. Pay close attention right now to your dreams, all right, because I feel like they're sending you messages maybe on what direction to take next in this new cycle or confirmations for you that you've done a really good job. You know, um, I feel like you. a lot of us need to hear that, you know, because um, it has been so difficult. Yeah, I feel like this is the light at the end of the tunnel here, Collective. Um, I'm also seeing this as um, something coming towards you here. It's almost like with the sun in the background, I feel like you're about to find out some kind of truth. Um that could even change things. I'm not sure. I feel like there's a message that's about to be delivered to you. You're walking away from any empty cups right now, and it's leaving somebody really stressed out, feeling like a complete fool, maybe even angry, feeling like they want to rush in, um, having really like sleepless nights here. I feel like you guys... The collective, you're getting your rest. I mean, you're sleeping. You're getting your rest um, to the point where uh, the divine is almost like putting you to sleep, right? So that they can give you messages and downloads. Um, but there's somebody else that's not getting any sleep at all. Okay, so put yourself where you have to in this reading, right? Um, but there's definitely a, a big difference here between your energy and this person's energy. Um, I feel like you wake up replenished, um, ready to conquer the world here with the star energy. This is something that um, you could be doing something in public, like um, on the internet, being a guide, a healer, an empath, a spiritual teacher, something like that. Um, and I feel like you're just, you, you, it's almost like you, you don't have much worries right now. To be honest with you, you've already walked away from all the people that never gave you anything back. Okay, situations that were toxic for you that you gave a lot of love to, but, and nurtured and cared for, but nobody else gave you anything. And I feel like those are the things that you're walking away from right now, and it's putting you in a state of peace of mind, you know? You've got peace of mind. That's the difference. The difference is, is that you're at peace with how you handled this journey and how you um, put in your effort. There's someone here who doesn't have any peace of mind, um, and they cannot sleep at night. So somebody here is sleeping, getting a lot of sleep, maybe more sleep than usual, um, and living a life of peace, and there's somebody here who's very agitated, frustrated, maybe even feeling kind of like panic, anger, right? Feeling like a fool, wanting to um, 
Yeah, this is somebody who can't get any sleep. They are just, yeah, so put yourself where you have to here. I'm not taking these in reverse, though. Yeah, they're, yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's had a decision to make, um, has had other options, and I feel like they've been watching you on a glow up. They've been watching you become very abundant, all right? This is someone who treated you like an option, and I feel like they were under some kind of illusion that you weren't anything, that you didn't have much to bring to the table or something. Okay, now the, all the illusions are down. This person sees um, just how abundant you are. But now, you know, it's like they've had this decision to make. They've been standing in between two different paths, right? And now I feel like um, it, it's taken them so long. This could have been up to uh, two to five years for some of you that this person just kept their back turned, treating you like they didn't care. You know, and I feel like now you've got your boundaries up. You're, I don't think you're, you, you not, you're not talking to this person. They want to reach out. They want to apologize. This could also be them trying to get their strength and courage to come forward. Because I do the, see this person from your past coming in with a big apology. I, I feel like, um, yeah, they are so stressed out. They're antsy. It's like they can't sit down or something at night. This could be pacing the floors, feeling like they're climbing the walls a little bit here with the Fool card and uh, the Nine of Swords, yeah. Wanting to come in really fast. Yeah, they, they want their Six of Cups. Um, this could be a past life soulmate connection. This could be somebody that you've known for a long, long time. Um, you gave this person nothing but innocent love i'm telling you you were innocent in all of this you were telling them the truth you would have never hurt them you didn't have any bad intentions for this person all you really wanted to do was love them and they're remembering this this is them just i mean they're yeah this is them just thinking about all of this they can't get it off of their mind they can't get you off of their mind and they can't sleep I feel like they're just praying for a second chance here with you. Um, this person could have put you in a third party situation. They caused you a lot of heartache. And they, they know that you didn't deserve the kind of treatment you got collective. I feel like they're just praying for a second chance with you. They're going crazy. Clarify the Emperor. Yeah, they do not want to have this painful. I feel like this is an ego death, to be honest with you, is kind of what I'm feeling like here. They're having an ego death. This person could have been egotistical, very arrogant, um, wanted to control the situation by waiting you out, maybe, for some of you. And uh, yeah, yep. I feel like now their their ego is is being crushed basically and they know they've done a lot to hurt you look at how this person is looking directly at you from over here they've done a lot that they didn't want to take accountability for they've put this off for so long it's made it really hard for this person to come back in you know um i feel like they're they're kind of intimidated by your energy now um yeah, and they, they know that you walked away from them here. In the end, you're the one who walked away. You know, really. And in the end, they're the ones who got ten swords. I feel like everything's been reversed. I feel like originally, Collective, they walked away from you. And you had ten swords stuck in your back. And now everything is flipped. Now at the end of this journey, you're the one who's walking away um of this from this situation and they're receiving ten swords in the back okay and it's it's kind of like i'm seriously it's it's crushing this person's ego and now they're feeling intimidated like they they once felt like an emperor but now they've been reduced to some dude standing here in tights <laughs> 
all beat up from the journey, afraid to confront, you know, um, maybe feeling intimidated by your energy. Yeah, I feel like everything shifted on this person. Everything has flipped. And now, you know what, I feel like um, we'll clarify this Queen of Wands energy. Clarify this Queen of Wands. I feel like it's you pushing this person away, to be honest. They treated you like a third party. They treated you like an option. Yeah, I feel like you're pushing this person away. This is, I feel like this is your energy collective, and they treated you like the other, you know, the other woman, the other man. Take it how it resonates. It's, it's energy, guys. It's not gender specific. Um, and I feel like... Uh, yeah, you don't want to be stuck and trapped in your mind anymore. Clarify this Eight of Swords for me, please, for the collective. Yeah, now it's them stuck in their mind. See, do you see what I'm saying? And you're out here having, like, celebrating your life is really what I'm feeling like here. I feel like now it's them stuck in their mind. They had you stuck at one point, but you're pushing that energy right back on them. I, I'm, yeah. Everything has flipped for this person. You could be, um, you could be an Aquarius. Uh, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm feeling Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. Your person could be um, an Aries, Virgo, heavy Virgo energy here. Um, possibly a Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Aries. Yep, and now it's like they're realizing they could have had it all with you, collective. Everything has flipped on this person. It's seriously, it, it all started with them walking away from you. And now you're walking away from them. I feel like at one point you had sleepless nights. Now it's them. Um, your conscience isn't bothering you because you were innocent. You gave innocent love through this. You had good intentions. But them, their conscience is screaming at them. And their ego is like has been crushed. Okay? Now all they want to do is reach out to you. They're all up in their emotions. Um, they once gave you the Ten of Swords in your back. Now they've got the Ten of Swords. They once had you stuck in your mind. Now it's going right back to them. Now they're stuck in theirs with the Hermit energy. Thinking about all that they could have had. Wow. It's, it's a complete flip. Everything that they put you through, collective, um, now they're going through it, okay? All right, what, can, what else can you show me here? They're looking at you like you were the one that they could build with. You were the one, uh, I feel like they want to commit to you, honestly. I feel like they want to commit. But this person got themselves in a pickle. You know, they, they don't know how to approach you now. And this emperor has now um, been reduced to somebody who's kind of quivering, like for real. They're shaken. They don't, they don't, they're intimidated. They don't want to take accountability for the things that they've done to you in the past. But, you know, they're here having a painful ending with ten swords in their back. Clarify this ten of pentacles, please, for the collective. Yeah, man. They waited too long. This is someone who waits. I feel like they waited too long. They invested um, their time, energy, money, whatever, uh, maybe even for years in something else. And they missed up their they missed their opportunity at the ultimate wish fulfillment. This is this is the kind of life everybody dreams of having. They could have emotional fulfillment with you, a solid partnership, happy kids gleefully bopping around, right? Um, a beautiful home situation. This is all the comforts in life that you could dream of. And this is generational wealth. 
This is so, something solid, a solid partnership, a loyalty, dedication, commitment. They could have had everything with you, but they waited too long. I feel like this person possibly waited you out. Yeah, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You gave this person the best love ever, and you're a spiritual being here. Um, with the Star and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're extremely intuitive, very connected to the divine, and out here being a healer. You're a healer. You know, if this person had any bad health, you probably could have healed them from that. Yeah, now they want a new beginning. I feel like you're getting a new beginning. Judgment, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're making a judgment call. This person is about to come and approach you here. Um, this is a person who really stabbed you in the back. But I feel like collective, you you just want to move forward. Um, you're having a victory and you want the same kind of... I feel like the, the person you want, you need them to have the same kind of energy as you. Okay? Um, you're out here high-vibing. You've been through a battle. You're coming out victorious and healed, okay? Strong, a warrior here with the chariot, determined to move forward. You could be a cancer. But what you want is somebody who's been through the same kind of situation. This here is somebody who's been through a battle and who is coming out victorious, possibly in the public eye. Look at you. You're, you could be in the public eye, well-liked in their community, just wanting to choose you and just you, riding past all the other options. People may be fighting over their attention, but they're going to be somebody who's, who's just going to choose you. And that's what you want. You want somebody who's going to vibe at your same energy. And this person didn't. They stood around and waited. They, they had um, a, a lot of ego. They were very arrogant. They may have wanted you to chase after them. They didn't want to accept responsibility for how they treated you. They treated you like an option. This person didn't know what they wanted. They were standing in the middle of a decision to make. It took them forever, right? Right? And I feel like um, they're coming towards you here to talk to you and try to make this right. They may even bring a little gift or something. Um because they they totally betrayed you but you're moving forward because you know the kind of love and connection you deserve i see you moving forward here you want somebody who's just going to choose you and stand by you and has learned some lessons who is someone who's bossing up and having a victory in their life right that's what you're moving towards here so yeah, you are about to hear from this person, collective. Oh man, and that's going to break their heart because they really want to get back together with you. They do not want to let you go. Truth, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's going to break their heart. You're going to break this person's heart. But you know what? Here's the thing. They broke yours. I feel like this is kind of, this is what happens. And they're going to be in a whole lot of regret here collective virgo energy scorpio uh libra gemini aquarius energy yeah they're gonna be i feel like you're gonna you're gonna choose to move on whether you've met someone new or not you know somebody is out there for you um that's gonna love you the right way i mean really all you want is what we should want normally in a relationship right trust um dedication loyalty someone you can count on someone who's not going to disappoint you every day someone who's not going to treat you like they don't care right you want to know that um the person that you're with has your back and is going to be there for you and protect you and grow with you that's what you want you know, you want the right things in a relationship. And this person, I, they just, they acted a fool. They played games. 
they you know i feel like they really haven't done their work okay and they're this person from your past i feel like they're not vibing at your level anymore and you want somebody who is gonna vibe at your level okay so i feel like this person's coming in to talk and communicate you're going to hear from them but i feel like you may even just turn your back on their message because you're really focused now on getting the love you deserve in the future yeah that's what i'm getting guys but get ready for this communication because they are about to send you a text message or a quick phone call something like that yeah Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.